got the homeboy Nip, chilling with Nip, man. We out here, we already know it. <laughs> Nip in the town. Gun violence has taken the life of Los Angeles rapper Nipsey Hussle. Uh, police say the 33-year-old was shot multiple times outside of his clothing store yesterday by a young man who then ran to a waiting getaway car. What's up everybody, it's Create, back again up on this wall, up here putting in work, up here doing the illustration, and uh, you know, just seeing some techniques of the cuts, the blend, and you know, little techniques like that. We're here at All Hood, and uh, this is the headquarters, and pretty much, you know what I'm saying, uh, I'm bringing my flavor to the headquarters, you know, where you can see some of my artwork up here. Hey, we're live, we're live on all here right now. Okay. April 1st, alright, let's so, go. But not only does art has power, with the spray paint, even Nipsey Music had power, man, that people could relate to. That was the art form within itself. It was poetry and motion over beats. Right, it's been a minute, man. You know, shit don't change. We still going, still on pressure on sauce and with it. A lot of progress. You know what I'm saying? I remember when you guys first introduced me to him over there at the uh, All Hood Publications uh, over off of Slauson. And uh, I mean, when he came in, the creator, you see this dude right here? He finna blow up. I was like, okay, because everybody say that. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, you know, and they like, watch, man, he gonna be sponsored by this. I'm like, okay, that's what's up. But then when Nip uh, shook my hand, he said, what's up, man? I see you getting down. I said, all right, thanks, man. And, uh, you know, you better see a, quite a few things actually from me. And, you know, over here you have like the lettering that we worked on. It says All Hood. And underneath the completed word publication. It's actually a magazine that talks about a lot of different things. Street culture, uh, the gang culture, you know, like it goes deep into the roots. Uh, a lot of the different things that's been established throughout the years from the beginning. And it's pretty deep. So, uh, you know, I advise you guys that want to really know about what's going on out there with some real talk you know is to sit down and take the time to do a little research and take a look at the magazine so that you know you can be up on some real good street talk as far as you know like the culture of it and uh other than that you know we back right here you know working on some of these techniques okay this is a, a rest of peace memorial production for for nipsey this is when everything first took place actually in like a few days, we got together, me and uh, my partner named Lou from the crew, Rockin' the Nation. Uh, they actually did an event here for Nipsey and uh, some other, around that time it was celebration for a few other elements and things going on the Five Point Youth Foundation. And so they asked us to come up here and do some kind of painting. So we figured this is the right time to do the painting for Nipsey. Uh, we actually, part of our crew member did some stuff in other locations, but nevertheless, uh, Ganu, man, he pumped this out, if I'm not mistaken, within an hour and a half, maybe almost close to two hours. Well, but I was, but I was just like, I wasn't having my gold on or nothing, but I was over there like this, but this is American, we fly, this is like a million dollar fit to them, just right, white right, right. jeans. You a, a kidnapper. Yeah, man, they okay. like to take your head. Right. Yes, Rand Paul, feel me? You on 58th with it. You know what I'm saying? Cuzzy Capone, Slauson Boy Original. Good right now, man. A little ashy, but you know the first all money in test, man. All money in, no money out. You know what I'm saying? We out here. Rest in peace to my nigga Nip, King Nip. You being around here, you was around here, you seen a lot of things. When I seen Nip, I seen a lot of the homies that's not here. A lot of dudes have passed away. A lot of our homies is in jail. I seen his drive, his spirit, his 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 heart, his determined determination. And like I tell him, like we living on the timeline, bro. Like a lot of people that died, I see now through you. It is not in vain, especially with this gang bang shit. There's a lot of people. A lot of stuff is gonna get like with the boy Kevin, like with the KM videos, man. A lot of people seeing things in a different light. You know what I mean? And 
like I used to tell him, it was meant to be. You know what I mean? I think he was here. He, he was brought to us to tell a story. Nobody could tell a story like that. I was rapping. I, was, I had one of the first CDs out here, around here, man, independent. Put it out and pressed it up. You know what I mean? I knew it. You know, I was going to be the... I, I knew that I had something to do with it. And at the time, because I was working with Trey, I thought it was going to be me. But the way I was brought up, it was a certain things that we couldn't talk about. And we couldn't voice our opinion in a certain way. And like giving these interviews, we couldn't do it. So we was, I was drilled and trained in that way. But then when Nip and the new generation came, social media, and the all technology it changed. You know what I mean? Now that you say that, when, when you first started, Nip, when you first started hearing Nip putting the hood on the map through rap, what what was your what was your reaction to that? Because that was different, bro. Yeah, yeah, I knew it was gonna get uh, mixed emotions, but like how it happened, I knew that he had like people would hear his voice. You know what I mean? Like you hear the game stuff, but then. People seen how good the music was and how articulate he was in it. So homies was like, wait a minute, that should sound hard. But then at the same time, some homies was like, who was this nigga? You know, we rapping about the hood and all the special niggas in the pen and shit. Like, that was cuz. And then when it's arrogance, it's like, you see somebody so young with this 6 0 hood, the arrogance, you're like, who the hell is this nigga? That nigga had the 6 0 mentality to a rap. Yeah, to a T, man. To a T. You see it? That's, 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 and that's another thing. That's, that's the hood. That's, that's six old right there. The other shit that people was putting out in the eighties and all of that, that's just other niggas just, just so happen to be around here. That's not the heart of the hood. That's not our character. Our character is Nip and guys alike. That y'all hear in these videos, that y'all see, that y'all respect, that y'all see get honor. What's up, my nigga? It's okay. It's my nigga Robin Hood, man. You know what I'm saying? Do you remember the first time you met Nip, bro? Yeah. Yeah, I met. Yeah, I remember the first time I met Cuz. Like, like, cause he said, Cuz had a flat top, had a fade, <laughs> and uh, looking like Special Ed. Looking like Special Ed, Cuz <laughs> skinny as a motherfucker, tall, <laughs> African medallions. And you know. I promoted him because he was the one. You know, I, I felt it. Like, if he made the right moves, like I felt in life, if I'd have made the right moves, I could have been the one. I didn't make those moves, so I didn't want Cuz to, to make the same mistakes I made. So, I'm not sure if we was at. This gas station or was we was on 58. And then uh, we was talking about music. It was just like a regular conversation. Or well, bear claws. And then he came around, you had walk yeah. around the claws, and that's when we jumped on the claustrophobic. Yeah. yeah. So we did two projects. Wait a minute, nips on the claustrophobic album? Oh yeah. Smoking that lot a lot, man. And that was in what we did back then. Me and Nip redid did a Jay-Z record. Yeah, hard as fuck. Back then. Oh, you knew that was our first group. That was that. Back then, like the G Unit might have been just cracking around that time. So, uh, uh, we was, uh, we came up with the Hood Unit. Like, we the Hood Unit. And really, really, the Hood Unit was we had front hood, we had the fronts, we had the avenues, and we had the overhills all on one on one tape, on one CD. So, we had every, every part of the Hood participated in the CD. Uh, up until that point, the Hood was like, you know, we was kind of into it with each other, you know. But through that music, with me, Keita Rock, Jay Stone, uh, 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 Nymph, Cuzzy, you know, uh, uh, we had we had people from all across the board, Lister Rob and them, everybody, um, and that united the hood a little bit through music. It brought it brought the hood together. I was looking at the uh, sixty video and shit. I was looking for my credits for the. Uh, oh, you the see the yeah, the artwork shit. is yours in the <laughs> back, so I gotta get that up. You know? uh, hey, the, the artwork on the video is baby shiny man, cause on six on a spray can. Ah uh, shit.